subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon to get notified for the latest tech videos hey what's up youtube this is wasi here and in this video i'm going to show you how you can update the os of your mac or macbook properly so let's begin the video the first step is to actually check whether your mac has an update available or not for this you're going to open launchpad and you're going to open system settings from here you're going to go in the general section and you're going to have this software update section just click on software update and if your mac is connected to the internet then it's going to check for updates and it's going to tell you whether an update is available or not for your mac or macbook here you can see an update is available macOS sonoma currently i'm using macOS ventura and you can see i can upgrade to macOS sonoma so if you want to upgrade you can click on the upgrade button but if you want to update the current mac os like currently i'm running mac os ventura 13 and if i click on other updates available option you can see mac os ventura 13.6.3 is available and its size is 4 gb so in my case i'm just simply going to update mac os ventura but if you want to update to the latest version you're going to click on the upgrade button it's going to first of all download the 13 0.38 GB or whatever GB setup and then it's going to install it. However, in both the cases, I highly recommend that you back up your Mac first using Apple's feature called Time Machine to an external drive because if something goes wrong during the update process, then you're still going to have your data. So let me show you how you can first of all back up your Mac using Time Machine. For this, you're going to plug in the power adapter to your Mac. It doesn't matter if your Mac is full charge or not. In both cases you should plug in the power adapter after that you're going to plug in any external drive in my case i'm connecting my external ssd and it should have enough storage for the backup and the last thing is that your external storage device should be empty in my case you can see it's completely empty because time machine will first format your external drive now in order to backup your data using time machine you're going to go back to the general page and here you're going to have an option saying time machine here it is and you can see it says add backup disk so i'm going to click on this option it has detected my external ssd make sure you select the correct disk after that i'm going to click on setup disk i'm not going to encrypt my backup for now disk usage limit is set to none i'm going to click on ok and for the first time you can see it's preparing meaning that it's going to first of all format my uh, external drive and then i can back it up and it's saying waiting for backup next backup in 47 seconds so it's going to now back up my mac to my external ssd here you can see 1.8 percent is done 5 gb of data has been copied and it is still going on so it's going to depend on how much data you have on your mac so the completion time will mainly depend on that so we're going to wait until the uh, backup for time machine has been completed here you can see the backup has been completed so we're going to close this window and now what i'm going to do is eject my time machine drive for now so that we can update our mac so i'm going to remove it in the software update section i'm going to click on other updates again if you want to upgrade to the new os you can click on the upgrade button but for now i'm going to click on update and I'm going to install macOS Ventura 13.6.3 update, which is around 4 GB. I'm going to click on install now because I have backed up my entire Mac. Agree to the terms and conditions. I'm going to enter the passcode to unlock my Mac. And you can see it's downloading macOS Ventura, which is around a 4 GB file. So it's going to take some time depending on your internet speed. So we're going to wait until the download has been completed and after the download it's going to automatically install the new update and your macbook may start multiple times so you do not have to worry and let it do its job just make sure that you do not unplug the power adapter even though your battery is fully charged once the update has been downloaded your macbook will restart automatically you here you have the apple logo with the loading bar here we have the apple logo with the second progress bar Here you can see the update has been completed it says find my iphone and all this stuff so i'm going to click on continue 
here you can see the macbook has been updated if i click on the apple logo go to about this mac you can see that the mac os is now ventura 13.6.3 which means our macbook has been updated successfully so yeah guys in this way you can properly update your mac or macbook if you guys like this video like share subscribe if you have any other questions write them in the comment section below and if you have not subscribed to my channel please do so other than that thank you for watching and as always stay safe